Hello, and welcome to my channel, Naughty Gnome Crafts. My name is Sarah, and my channel is all about the fiber crafts that I love and my personal style journey. And today's video is going to be all about my fall capsule wardrobe. So if that interests you, keep watching. So before we get started with today's video, I just want to thank each and every one of you who left a comment on my previous video about my cat. I really do appreciate the love and support that I got from you guys. So thank you so much. And we're doing okay, we're coping. It's been a little bit strange not having cats around anymore, um, but we're doing our best. But just I just wanted to make sure before I started that I thanked you guys um, for being so kind in your comments. So as I said in the beginning, in today's video, we're going to be talking about my fall capsule wardrobe. Now I did post a summer capsule wardrobe. If you missed that, I will link that up in the cards in case you wanna go back and watch that video. So in my summer capsule, I built a wardrobe of around 20 pieces and it is what I would have worn during the summer when I was working mostly from home. But for the fall capsule, I had to put together a slightly different kind of wardrobe. And that kind of speaks to the flexibility that I spoke about in my first video. That if you're doing your own capsule, I highly encourage you to be flexible and like change with your life and with the seasons. So some major differences from the last time that I was building a capsule in the summertime is that for the fall, number one, I was actually going to wear this capsule. So rather than just doing it as an exercise, I thought it would be more authentic to actually build a wardrobe and then wear it. So I pledged to uh, wear these clothes for the month of September and you, the video footage that you're going to be seeing of the outfits are the outfits that I actually wore during the month of September. Another major difference is that in the summertime, I was working mostly from home, but now I'm back in the office four days a week. And so therefore that meant that I really needed to add more pieces than I had during the summer. Because when I was at home, I didn't really care if I wore the same garments week after week. But at work, I just feel a little bit strange, even though I know that probably people don't notice, I would just feel a little bit judged even if that's not the case if i wore the same clothes every single week and so i had more pieces so that i could kind of alternate and kind of wear them more every other week and it was not as noticeable that i was doing a capsule if that makes sense and the final major difference from the last time that i built a capsule is i did not include shoes and that was partly because um Pre prior to going back to the office, I'd been at home for like a year and a half and I basically the entire time wore just comfortable shoes, like sneakers or sandals. And so since I was going back to work, I wanted to be able to have access to all of my shoes because I have quite a few. Some might say that I have a bit of a shoe problem. Um, so I wanted to just be able to wear all my shoes because I haven't worn them in so long. And also I think that being able to be more free with shoe choice and with accessories it makes the, your outfits more interesting and more creative and more different um, when you have those accessories that you can lean on and you're not just relying on a small handful. So that's why I did not include shoes in this capsule. Um, oh, and the other thing that I wanted to say is that this time around, I wanted to choose pieces that were a little bit more difficult to style. I've tried capsule wardrobes um, kind of infrequently from about 2017 on, you know, I'll just do a few um, every year. And I feel like I'm at the point where I was ready to incorporate some pieces that were a little bit more um, challenging and not just your basics. And by doing that, I, all, I wanted to find new ways to style these pieces just for my everyday life. And I also um, wanted to punch it up a little bit so that my wardrobe was a little bit more creative because that is one of the problems with me and capsules is that when every single piece is a basic, I get bored really quickly and really easily. So this time around, I just chose some pieces that had a little bit more interesting details. So I ended up with 28 pieces in my wardrobe. I did originally have three additional pieces that I removed because I did not wear them at all. And those three pieces were for colder weather. So where I live in the month of September, the temperatures can really range from literal summer temperatures to being quite chilly kind of towards the end of the month. The weather here in Western New York has been absolutely beautiful for the majority of the month. It's been in the 70s, just kind of beautiful prime fall weather and I just didn't need those colder um, colder weather pieces so I had a sweatshirt I had a long sleeve turtleneck and I had um, what was the other thing I didn't wear I, 
had a sweater. And so those three pieces, I didn't end up wearing them. And so I just decided not to include them since you won't be seeing them anyway. Um, but that's just another way that if you're building your own capsule, you know, be flexible in terms of your weather conditions. I mean, obviously, if you, you know, live in the tundra, don't put a bikini in your capsule or do if you want. I don't know. But like for me, I needed to be, have that flexibility in case we had um, different weather conditions and then I could just take them out when I didn't use them. That made the most sense to me. Okay, so let's just get started going over these items. I'm going to group them by item type. And then as I'm talking about the piece, I will be inserting footage of the actual outfits that I wore during the month of September, as I stated. And there will be a couple of repeats because I've only had 25 days as of the time that I'm filming this and there are 28 pieces. So we're gonna start with bottoms. First up, oh, and just so you know, these are not all handmade. I wanted to have access to my full wardrobe. And so I did choose a lot of handmade pieces, but there were just certain things that I did not have um, appropriate makes to include. And so I do have some ready to wear. So the first piece are my gray skinny jeans that are from Rag and Bone. I bought these in 2019, I think, and I ended up wearing these four times during the month. Um, they're just a basic high-waisted skinny jean and um, they have a raw hem because they were too long so I just cut them off because I was too lazy to hem them. Um, I really like these jeans. I really like the color of this that they're kind of a dark gray wash but they're, they're almost like black jeans but they're not as harsh as black jeans. So the outfit that I'm going to show you with these is I wore them with my camel ruffled tee from Pattern Emporium and I really like the um the contrast of the colors that even though they're both neutrals i think it's an interesting color combination so that was my first outfit next up i have another pair of jeans i have my top shop uh 90s style jeans these are straight leg they have a button fly they're high waisted they're made out of a rigid denim and i had to hem these but i did preserve the original hem on them um, and they have a straight leg cut so these are probably my most comfortable jeans, so that's why I wanted to include them. They have a very relaxed feel and style, and since I already included a pair of skinny jeans, I wanted to, to add a different silhouette. So for this outfit, I was wearing my camel tee again, and um, I'm also wearing my olive pebble beach shawl. It was a little bit chillier that day, and so um, I just added the shawl to give another layer of warmth. So the next item I do not have to show you because um, it's in the wash, but I have my olive twill paper bag pants. These were a McCall's pattern and I don't recall the number, but I will put it up on the screen. I made these right very, very early on when I came back to sewing last year in 2020. And uh, I made them out of a, um, just an olive non-stretch twill that I got from Blackbird Fabrics. And for this outfit, I paired it with my pink knitted sweater, and I really love the pink and green combination together. I think that it's a really nice color combo. And the next pair of pants was my Spanx faux leather leggings. This is actually a new acquisition that I just bought this year, and I did have to hem them. I think I, I probably hemmed them like a couple of inches and I used my cover stitch for that. Um, and these are super high-waisted. They're very comfortable to wear. They're very smoothing. Um, and I don't wear leggings a whole lot anymore, but I do like having a pair of leather leggings in my wardrobe because I just feel like they're a really good base for, for fall and winter outfits. So the outfit that I wore with this, I paired it with my jean jacket and the pink sweater. I'm sorry to be showing you these repeats um, very close in a row, but that's just, that's the nature of a capsule. You wear the same things over and over. So that was that outfit. And then the next bottom was my black Ponty pants. These are made out of a Butterick pattern and I made these quite a while ago. These are some of one of the, my older uh, handmade garments. I think I made it probably 2017 or 2018. I really like these pants because the um, original envelope has them styled as joggers but they actually look to me like just very nice like work pants. They're elastic waist, so they're very comfortable, but with the pleats and with the straight leg, they're just really appropriate for work. And for this outfit, I paired it with my blue Veronica tank top. I think it was warmer that day, and I really love the royal blue and black color combination. It's one of my favorites, so I really liked that outfit. And then the last bottom that I have to show you is another ready to wear. This is a blank NYC suede skirt. It's kind of an olive 
grayish color. I'd say that it's gray, but it kind of leans toward green. And this is a genuine suede skirt. It's fully lined and it's an A-line shape. I really like this skirt, but it's one of those pieces that was on the more challenging side to me because I don't wear this a whole lot. And I think it's partly because the, the, win the window to wear this skirt when it's not too hot for a suede skirt, but it's also not too cold to be wearing a short skirt, it's a very narrow window. So I'm glad that I included this in my capsule so that I, get, get, I could get some more wear out of this skirt uh, before it gets too cold. So the outfit that I have for this is I paired it with um, my Mia McCall's floral blouse and my camel shawl. And I actually wore that on the first day of the challenge and I really loved that outfit. Okay, let's move on to dresses and jumpsuits. So the first dress that I have to talk to you about is actually what I am wearing right now. I am wearing the Friday Pattern Company uh, saltwater slip dress that I made out of a black rayon dobby. And this dress was really fun to style this month because I wore it twice and both times I actually styled it as a skirt. So I just would wear a top over it. Um, in my first outfit that I chose, I wore it with a belt and then sort of like bloused the shirt over the belt so you couldn't see it. So it just looked like a top and a skirt. And this time around, um, I'll insert the footage. I'm just wearing it with my Mallory McCall shirt and then I have it belted at the waist just to give some definition. And I just really enjoy wearing this dress as a skirt. I think that that makes it a really versatile piece. I'm also looking forward to styling it more for colder weather with the turtleneck underneath or possibly, um, and maybe also wearing a jacket over top. So I think that I'll be able to wear this dress year round even though it is sleeveless. So that was one of actually my favorite pieces of um, this capsule. Next up, we have my Simplicity 8875 floral midi dress. I This was one of my favorite outfits of the month. I absolutely loved this one. I think I only wore this once, pretty, sh pretty sure. And um, I paired it with my leather jacket and casual white Nike sneakers. And I just love that outfit so much. It's very comfortable, but I think that it looks really pretty, but not too dressed up. Um, I really love that outfit. And I always love wearing this dress. It's just so pretty and so feminine. Next up, we have my Ruska Knot dress, which is from the book Breaking the Pattern from Named Clothing. This is made out of a rayon jersey from Style Maker Fabrics, and I wore this a couple of times. I wanted to include a basic t-shirt dress in my capsule because I find those to be very versatile, and I did have some options in terms of which um, floral dress that I wanted to choose, but I went for this one because with the little knot detail, it's just a little bit more like out of the ordinary, and I really enjoyed wearing this dress. It's just very comfortable, and it was great for this um, the weather this time of year. And then finally, I did include my jumpsuit. This is the Celine jumpsuit from thefabricstore.com. It's a free pattern. It's a faux wrap style jumpsuit that has an elasticized waist. And I, mine is made out of a pinstripe denim fabric that I got from Style Maker Fabrics and it has pockets. And I absolutely love this jumpsuit. And I think everyone else loves it too because every time I wear this, I wore this to work and I got tons of compliments. And it just reminds me every time I pull this out and wear it that I need to make another jumpsuit because they're just so comfortable and I'm definitely a convert. Um, I'm very pro jumpsuit now. Next up are my outer layers. So the two most worn pieces in my entire wardrobe were outer layering pieces. Um, one of them was this uh, gray circle cardigan. It's from Barefoot Dreams. I bought this a couple of years ago. It's in a charcoal gray. Quite honestly, it's a little bit too big for me, but it is very comfortable and it's a wonderful just throw on and go layer, which is why I wore it so much. It's great for lounging, lounging around the house, but it's also, um, I think, nice enough. It's a dark color, so it's appropriate enough that I can wear it to work if I want to. The next piece that I wore a lot was my Hampton jean jacket. I made this from a stretch denim that I got from DNH Fabrics. This is one of my proudest makes that I've done so far, and I also just wear it all the time, so I get so much use out of it. It was definitely worth the effort um, that it took to make this. I do have a review of this uh, pattern that I will link up in the cards in case you want to check that out, but I just wore this several times during the month. It was a staple, and the only thing that I will say is that I do wish that for the fall and winter that I had a darker wash version because I think that it would 
kind of match the seasons a little bit more. But I do also like having this light blue uh, uh, jacket in my closet for like contrast. So um, yeah, I really loved wearing this and it was definitely a good um, basic to include in my capsule. The next thing that I have is a J. Crew sweater blazer. I've had this for several years and it's starting to show its age a little bit. It's maybe starting to pill a little bit on the sleeves and stuff. It's in this camel color and I think I only wore this once with my jumpsuit during the month and I'm actually a little bit surprised because normally I wear this quite a bit. Even though this is not handmade, there is a, um, a cardigan pattern called the Fulton Sweater Blazer by Alina Design Company that looks almost identical in style to this. So if you are interested in this shape, um, I'll go ahead and link that pattern in the description box. And all of the patterns that I am talking about today um, will be linked in the description box so you can go check them out. And lastly, for layering pieces, I have my leather jacket. I got this from Nordstrom a couple of years ago. It's it's less of a moto style and it's a little bit more of like, um, almost like a shawl collar type. So it's I, I find it to be a little bit more dressy and slightly less edgy, I guess. And I really like using this as a layering piece. Um, in the winter, I'll wear it over you know, whatever my top or my sweater or whatever, and then I'll go ahead and put a winter coat over it. But for the fall, for this time of year, I can just wear this as a jacket. I wore it over my plaid A-list shirt and my gray jeans, and I really liked that outfit. I like how a leather jacket can just sort of, even though I would, I, just, I just said that this is not as edgy as like a moto jacket, it does like give a little bit of edge to your outfits, and I like that. Okay, the final pieces that I have to show from this fall capsule wardrobe are my tops. Now there are quite a few tops. As I stated, I didn't want to be wearing the exact same garments week after week, and so I felt like tops was the best way to expand my wardrobe, because I, maybe this is just me, and you can let me know that in the comments if, how you feel, but I feel like you can get away with wearing the same bottoms week after week, and people don't really notice, but if you wear different tops, you can have different looks, and. Um, nobody will know that you're doing a capsule. So I included two sleeveless pieces in my wardrobe because as I stated towards the beginning of the month, it's still summer temperatures. So the first one that I included was the Vicky Sews Veronica tank, and I made it out of a bamboo rib knit in this royal blue color, which is really gorgeous. And unfortunately it's in the wash, so I can't show it to you but I really liked um, wearing that top. And I also think that it's a nice layering piece. If it gets colder, you can wear it under things. Um, so that was a good addition to my wardrobe. And then the second sleeveless top I included is my um, latest Ogden cami from True Bias. I made one out of a white, or it's sort of a cream color silk crepe. And I did only wear this once during the month, um, but I did enjoy wearing it. I paired it with my olive paper bag waist pants did I forget to talk about my olive paper bag pants? No, I didn't, I talked about them, I'm sorry. Um, so I paired it with my olive paper bag waist pants and my jean jacket, and I just really like that look. Um, this cami basically goes with everything and it's very comfortable to wear. So that was also a good addition to my capsule. Yeah. Next up we have t-shirts. So the first t-shirt that I have to show you is my Galaxy T from Pattern Sisters Cloth. This is a free pattern and it's been very popular lately and so I think you, pro like many of you probably have heard of it. I made mine out of a rayon stripe jersey that I got from Threadbare Fabrics and I really like how this has a statement sleeve but in the rayon it's not overly puffy, it just has a little bit of volume and um, I like how it, because it's a stripe, it's a great basic, but you have just a little bit of extra with that sleeve. So I did end up wearing this quite a bit, and in my normal everyday life, like I would say that this is one of my most worn t-shirts. I really do like this one. And for the clip that I'm showing you, I paired it with my paper bag waist pants and my trench coat. Now my, my trench coat was not part of the capsule because I wanted to have access to any coat that I might need in case it got cold, but it turns out that it was, like I said, pretty moderate temperatures, so mostly I didn't even need a coat, but when I did wear any coats, I, I did pull out my, my McCall's trench coat, and I'll put the number on the screen. Um, it's just a wonderful basic that goes with everything, and it's perfect for fall and spring. So even though it wasn't officially in the capsule, it was kind of an honorary member, I did wear it quite a few times. 
So the next two t-shirts are in the wash, so I can't show them to you here, but I have my um, white Stellan tee from French Navy patterns, and um, it's another free pattern. This t-shirt I did wear quite a bit because it is a basic that goes with everything. However, it's just not my favorite. I don't like the fit of it. And every time I wore it, it just reminded me of how I want to make a different t-shirt to replace it. So that's definitely going on my list for some point. Um, and then I can retire that t-shirt because there's, it's kind of a shame. Like I don't want to make a new t-shirt because that one is relatively new and there's nothing wrong with it. But I also don't want to wear that one because I don't like it. So, but a white, a white t-shirt is basically a necessity for my wardrobe. So at some point I do need to replace it. And then the um, other short sleeve t-shirt was my Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe t-shirt. It's the camel colored cotton modal blend that I got from Style Maker Fabrics and then has the V-neck and then I added a ruffle as a little hack. And I really do like that ruffle detail. I think that it, again, it's sort of like the Galaxy T, it sort of elevates above just your normal boring t-shirt. Um, it has a little bit of flair with that sleeve. And for this outfit, I paired it with my blue jeans and my olive Pebble Beach shawl. And then finally for t-shirts, I have one long sleeve t-shirt and this one is a ready to wear, although I did modify it. So this was just one, a black t-shirt that I got from Nordstrom. I think it's like a rayon jersey type of fabric, just your basic black t-shirt. However, when I purchased it, um, it was extremely long. It almost came to my knees and the sleeves were so long that they were like three inches, like hanging off of the end of my fingertips. So I did hem the sleeves and I also shortened the body and, um, and it fits much, much better now. I'm so glad that I took the time to do that. But yeah, basic black tee. And I only wore this once because as I said, it wasn't really super cold, but I did wear it um, with my uh, floral blazer. Oh, I'm just, sorry, I'm just looking at my list and I realized that I forgot to talk about my floral blazer. So I made the Simplicity blazer from Mimi G. I don't remember the number, but I will put it up on the screen. And I did this as part of a collab with Madi from Madi Sews. And I made it out of a cotton linen canvas from Rifle Paper Company. And I did wear this just a couple of times. I think that in a perfect world, I would have included a more plain blazer because I think I would have worn it more. However, as I was saying, I was trying to include some more challenging pieces that were a little bit harder to style. So it was fun to throw that one in the mix. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of wear out of it, but I do think that I will wear that blazer more when I have access to my full wardrobe and I can have more things that look good with it. Um, there were only kind of a limited number of tops and bottoms that I thought really worked with this blazer. Um, but it's nothing against the blazer. I just think that I need to have other pieces that I can style it with. I would like to apologize if this video is a little bit discombobulated and disorganized. I really did try my best to write everything down and keep it organized. But sometimes when you're filming these things, I just forget things. And so I am sorry about that. All right, so moving on to um, other tops. So I had my blue scout tee. This is from Grainline Studios and I made it out of a rayon fabric from DNH Fabrics. I really like this tee. I only wore it once. Um, just in general, I don't wear this a whole lot, and I don't really know why, because I do like it. I think maybe because it's a basic, simple printed t-shirt, it's just not super exciting to me, and so I'm not necessarily reaching for it. But I do like it, and I paired it with my black leather leggings, which again, the royal blue and black combo is one of my favorites. And certainly, if I'd had more time with this capsule, I'm sure that I would have found more ways to wear this because it is such a basic throw on and go item. My other uh, blouse that I included is a long sleeve blouse. I love this shirt so, so, so much, and I wore it a couple times this month, and I'm looking forward to wearing it more this fall and winter. It has these beautiful lantern sleeves with an elasticated cuff. This is the Mia McCall's. I can't recall the number, but I will put it on the screen. This was another rayon fabric that I got from DNH Fabrics, and I think the fabric is what I love the most about this, but I do also love the style of it. Um, it looks a little bit similar to the Wilder gown. I just like wearing it tied at the top and it's just very feminine and easy to wear. Um, so that one's another favorite of mine. 
So in terms of button up shirts, I had a couple of short sleeve shirts and a couple of long sleeve shirts. So I had the Fiber Mood Ayla shirt that is made out of a cotton rayon blend that I got from Joann's. I love this shirt. I like plaid shirts in general, but I just really like the colors in this one. And I really enjoyed the way that I could wear it as a shirt, like tucked into a pair of jeans or as a layering piece. I think one day I wore it over my um, white t-shirt, just open as a sort of like a little jacket. And yeah, I really, really like this shirt. The second shirt was another Fiber Mood pattern. This is the Fiber Mood Paulette shirt, and it's made out of a sage green rayon dobby that I got from fabric.com, and it has this ruffle detail, which is really pretty. This one I think I only wore once. Um, I do find it maybe slightly more difficult to style, but um, I did enjoy wearing it, and I wanna find more ways to wear this one in the fall. Next up is a ready to wear shirt. This is a blue silk shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt that I got from Petite Sophistica. It's like literally 20 years old. And I don't wear this shirt a whole lot, but I do like it. So I wanted to include it in my capsule just to challenge myself to find ways to wear it. And I did only end up wearing it once, but I really liked that outfit. I actually wore it tied in a knot over my striped t-shirt with my suede skirt. And I really liked that outfit. That was one of my favorites of the month. And the final shirt that I have to talk about is the one that I'm wearing. This is the Mallory McCall's and I'll put the number on the screen. And this shirt, I when I first made it, I found it incredibly difficult to style, but I have since um, experimented and found some different ways to wear it. And I really do like this now. Um, it's very much grown on me. And this is another Rayon Dobby uh, fabric combination that I got from fabric.com. So the final piece that I have to share with you is a hand knit sweater. This is my pink diamond stitch sweater. I made it from a book called Vintage Knits by Sarah Dallas. It was one of the first knitting books that I ever bought when I learned how to knit. And I made this out of Jill Draper Makes Stuff Esipus, which is a discontinued yarn, unfortunately. It's a fingering weight. And I really like the sweater. Um, I had not gotten a chance to wear it. I finished the sweater back in the summer and then it was too warm to wear a wool sweater. So I've really enjoyed getting this piece out and wearing it. Um, it's perfect for fall because of the short sleeve. It's not too hot, um, but it is like a nice uh, layer that you can throw on to, to uh, cut through the chill. If it had been colder, I would have layered this over long sleeve shirts, um, but I think I just wore it as is as a top and yeah, it was great. I really like the color of this and how um, it blends well. I think it looks, it pairs really well with all the olive green pants that I talked about. And I also like the way that it looks with black. So there you have it. That was my fall capsule wardrobe. My final thoughts on, on wearing the capsule and how it went. I think it was a good challenge. I really liked the way that a capsule inspires me and challenges me to find new ways to style my pieces so that they look different and I'm not wearing the same outfits again and again. I do like that part of the challenge. Um, I will say that like just over the halfway point of the month, I started to get a little bit tired of it. And actually, um, I have a few days left in September and I'm gonna be honest with you because I'm filming this video right now, I think I'm gonna quit after today and just go back to wearing my full wardrobe because I do have so many beautiful clothes that I miss wearing. So um, in that respect, I guess it's sort of a fail that I'm not gonna close out the month with the capsule, but I feel like I got what I wanted out of it. Um, I, I got some fun outfit ideas to share with you guys. Um, I gave you some insight into how I put together a capsule and I got to challenge myself to find different ways to wear my clothes. And so in that respect, I feel like it was a success. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of my fall capsule and um, if you've ever done a capsule wardrobe or if you've ever thought about it. And um, if you like this video, I hope that you will hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you. I'll see you next time.